today i'm going to be taking you on a tour on a minimalistic project that i designed so without much i do follow me as i take you through the concept behind every space let's go When I got contacted by the client, the brief of the design was to come up with a four bedroom house seated on a 320 meter square area, which is equivalent to a one and a half plot. Um, he emphasized on the fact that he wanted to maximize the use of the land. So after several design phases and iteration processes, uh, we finally came up with this. I would like to start off with this face of the entrance. This is approximately a 3.5 meter, which is uh, almost 12 feet. I'm a fan of sustainable architecture, same as the client. He likes to have a blend of wood as well as a mixture of other materials. So with this entrance, you can see it is a gate on its own, but it has a pedestrian access as well. So this is the car parking area which can accommodate approximately two or maximum three cars quite within a small zone and that you see over there is a security post for the house the entrance it's a wooden tunnel door sustainable as a matter of fact with metal extensions it gives you more of a cute minimalistic welcome <laughs> So let's walk into the living area. So this you see right here is the living area. Now this space is a 400 square feet and flooring was fully covered with marble tiles and themed with a white paint and with the ceiling the ceiling was made of plasterboard it had indirect lighting running in between them and it had mounted ceiling light as well so that was basically the concept and on the ground floor Within the living space, we have a small visitor's washroom, obviously for the visitors, even in case you have a guest, that's where they use. And over here, okay, still within the living room space, I created a smaller space. Yeah, probably for office or probably if you want to have maybe a steady room for the kids, you can decide to use this space. Now, if you're like me and you like food, <laughs> Chanel, trust me, this is the place you want to spend the rest of your life. <laughs> it's the kitchen and that's like my favorite space. Follow me. So we're in the modern era and you realize smart devices are taking over. So I thought it wise of how to incorporate smart devices into the architectural design. So if you take a look at this space, we have um, the automated system extractor, cooker as well. And this you see right here is a textured counter. One thing I love about this counter is it doesn't crack or break. It's quite interesting. And with a sink, we decided to, you know, have a blend as well. So it's more of a bespoke concept. We have the oven and the microwave inbuilt within the kitchen as well. So once again, we have this white textures, white texture to give it that sort of brightness within the kitchen space. So this is a 1.8 meter window wide. It allows natural light and ventilation. 
And this is the air condition, which of course <laughs> we need it when you're cooking. CCTV camera over right there. In case you're, you're cooking and your kid runs into the kitchen to steal chicken, you need to watch out. So with a staircase, it's quite a simple staircase, nothing too luxurious, but I decided to add a touch of a marble towel for the finishing. These you see over here are sunset lights, which throws light on these and gives it a nice reflection in the evening. So when immediately you step on it, it tends to throw light on it. The family area. Now this space, quite a minimal space, but the whole idea was a space gathering or a social gathering for the family. We had intentions of placing some TVs and some smart systems here with a nice light system over here. And we also had intentions of having some sofas. Once again, it depends on the client that would want to at the end of the day purchase the space. We have three bedrooms upstairs. We have the bedroom one here, bedroom two there. And we have the main master bedroom, which I would show you very soon. So I'm going to be taking you through one bedroom. This is quite a big bedroom, okay? It's meant for one of the family members who will obviously be occupying this place. It has its own built-in closet and it has its own washroom in there. Finely bespoke and customized to suit the space that I indicated within the design. So, had wooden panel, we need furnished. I like to keep things simple in a sophisticated way. <laughs> also, nice clinically veneered wardrobes with where you can arrange all your clothes. So this is the bathroom. Quite a neat space as well. We have the water heater system and we have the shower and also the WC. So I'm taking you to the other room. Quite paneled door. Voila! Quite simple. Try not to complicate the space so much with a lot of things because when you have a client purchasing the space, he or she would come with their own, you know, specification. But what we have is the TV connections. We have some sockets as well. Also, the window is a two-bay window, which is a 1.8 meter stretch. It allows natural light as well as ventilation. And we also have the AC. Yeah. I call this the invisible door. One thing I like about this door is it's quite seamless, okay? It forms and it's kind of blends with the wall. Last but definitely not the least, welcome to Mama and Dada's room where all the magic happens. I mean, you know, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so this is the most spacious room in the house, which is a 300 square feet. It has white walls, which they have intentions of doing some extra interior designs. It has its own AC. She has its you know, outstanding lighting design as well. Flooring is made of marble tiles. This marble tiles is basically running through the entire house. The interesting thing about the marble tiles is it has a reflective, it gives you that kind of warm feeling. It also makes the house look quite neat as well.
is a walk-in closet for mama and dada and over here we have the washroom which has a big giant glass here <laughs> in the brief one thing about the client he requested for a balcony space which was overlooking you know the streets out there and you know most of the times when you're in the house you get to get a bit bored and all that so you can decide to slide here into the balcony space or you can decide to move all the way here into another balcony space which gives you a much wider view So this is a metal feature. I believe you can hear the sound. Yeah, it's metal, but it's actually coated, giving you that feeling that it's wood, but it's not. So that's one interesting thing. And uh, with the, I mean, with the balcony, with the balustrade, it's made of full glass, which gives you that kind of transparent look, even if you're moving or driving from afar. I hope you like this video. Do well to share like comment and also subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any of my content